G'day YouTube, this is a review of the recently released uh, Linux Mint 14, the new release for November 2012. Okay, now let's get into it. Now, with the Linux Mint 14 distribution, it has a slightly uh, updated and polished look with the uh, cinnamon, as you can see, it seems even a little bit darker as well. They've even updated the icons a bit. I mean, look at Firefox there, it actually looks a little bit cut out and cropped a little bit unusually. Uh, but moving on from there, now, uh, next thing we have with this is, uh, of course, it has the default uh, user interface, which is Cinnamon, but you can also get uh, Gnome Mate as well, so that's uh, good to know if you want something a little bit lighter, uh, that takes up a little bit less RAM. Now, moving on, the kernel has been updated to uh, 3.4, maybe, 3.5, actually, let me just double check that now. You name uh, there we go 3.5, which is quite a significant jump up from the 3.2 uh, kernel in um, in Linux Mint 13, the previous distro, which is good. So there's a lot of updated drivers, a lot better for your video cards and everything there. So that's great to see. Uh, now moving on, it comes with the Office Utility LibreOffice, uh, which you can see here. Now this one is uh, 3.6, which is good. So it's updated from 3.5 or 3.4 previously. And uh, the default music app, the library app, is uh, Banshee still. Same as last time, not many different changes there. Okay, moving on. Now, of course, it comes in 32 or 64-bit architectures, so um, not to worry there. And what I actually found that I like about it is it's, it's, it's actually quite stable. It does really well. It's sta stable. So far, so good anyway. Um, now, the package file format, of course, is .deb or .deb. And uh, so when you're installing programs on it uh, on the web or in the package manager, they'll come as .deb that you'll need to install. And the update method is apt, so sudo apt get, sudo apt get, that sort of thing. Um, now moving on, uh, now the typical usage for this is of course, it's just a desktop, all around desktop. PC for web browsing, that sort of thing. Not specifically for servers, although of course being Linux you can turn it into a server if you wish. Now of course uh, this distribution, the Linux Mint 14 and just Linux Mint in general is derived from Ubuntu and Linux Mint 14 is derived from Ubuntu 12.10 or should I say Ubuntu 12.10. So, um, and of course, that's always been the way it was. And uh, in fact, Linux, Linux Mint has overtaken Ubuntu or Ubuntu in uh, popularity in recent times as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. You've got an upgraded kernel, a slightly more polished look, uh, new icons, um, updated applications, 32 64-bit architectures, really stable, um, and just a great all-round distribution to use. Now, I, I do like to stress that the... Um, the cinnamon release, it, it is a little bit heavier on the RAM, so if you have a, a not enough RAM to go around, or even enough CPU speed to go around, then uh, go for the Mate distribution. Mate. <laughs> so the Linux Mint Mate desktop environment when downloading. Alright, cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions, and um, if you've enjoyed, please subscribe. Cheers. Thanks.